This is Wardlow from AEW, and you're watching The Joe Cronin Show. A wrestling podcast with attitude. Well, hello to the faithful wrestling fans out there. There's a lot to get to today on this little wrestling news episode. I am the cracker Joe Cronin. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, what's going on, everybody? But it's going to be something we talk about Jim Cornette in a few minutes. There's a lot to uh, talk about with a lot of little things out there. Um, I'm going to have my Patreon content up in a few for Morning Madness, so look for that later. Um, I asked you guys to please provide me with some questions, comments, whatever, about whatever in wrestling you wanted to talk about, whether it's what's going on with Survivor you. Series or... You know, what's going on with anything? So we take a look at the wrestling questions now, and we'll talk about all those. And Tony Khan reacts to Orton. We talked about that the other day, so I didn't really want to talk about that because we already talked about that. Um, there's really nothing else um, major that I wanted to speak about as far as that goes. So we're going to dive into this uh, Jim Cornette thing first because there's all kinds of controversies about this Jim Cornette thing, a clip of him being, I don't know, racist. They're saying he's racist or whatever, racist comments type of things. I just consider Jim Cornette myself to be like, he hates everybody. He attacks everybody. You know what I mean? He hates and loves everybody. And, um, you know, that's the way I feel about it. If you have something about you that he can call out and make fun of, he does it in the most extreme way. So that's how I feel about it. But what's interesting about Jim Cornette, is how he is a hardcore liberal. He is a hardcore Democrat liberal. And at every second, every corner, he calls Trump a racist. He calls Republicans all racist cocksuckers and all these things. He's a hardcore um, liberal. And, I, and, I, and it always seems weird how much, how political he's become on his podcast. Because I'm always like, well, I want wrestling content from him. But he always goes into Trump and politics and, God, the Republicans need to die and all kinds of things and die Republicans and they're all racist assholes and whatever he says. And I'm like, okay, that's bizarre because um, I couldn't care either way, left or right, whatever you are, I don't care. I'm independent myself because I think both everybody's a scumbag. But the bottom line is he virtue signals like a maniac about how Trump sucks and the Republicans are need to die and they're racist and terrible. But then this um, comes out on Twitter. This thing comes out and everybody wants me to talk about it, I guess. Um, by And this guy, I'm not saying I agree with him or disagree with him. I mean, my opinion, Jim Cornette shits on everybody, so who cares? But he is a hypocrite for crapping on people of the right, I think, and saying all these things. And usually people do that because they are virtue signaling, because they themselves in the past were very racist or said very racist things or very crazy things. And because of that, they're virtue signaling so they can try to cover up the fact that they've done the same thing. And they point the finger, they're the first to point the finger at somebody else and say, oh, he's a racist asshole or whatever. But, but then all the stuff that they said contradicts why they would be someone who would hate that. So, like, it's very weird. But anyway, you get this tweet. I'm black and I can't support this guy anymore. Blah, blah, blah. Jim Cornette. Um, dealing with an altercation with black fans and attendance also included... His take on slavery and how it affects white Americans. Also, minority privilege is a thing, which it, it can be. Um, but this is, uh, yeah, so this is Jim Cornette's uh, clip, I guess. Uh, trying to look at what everybody's all angry. I mean, everybody's been attacking Cornette every second. The AEW people, obviously a lot of SJWs. Um, are attacking Cornette really hardcore because he because he says their product sucks. But again, just because you say somebody's product sucks, it's weird. The other side is firing back with the whole cancel culture thing. So Jim Cornette doesn't like AEW and shits on it. And of course, the AEW people fire back with, oh, you should be banned or canceled. So it's it's interesting to see the tactics of both sides. Why not just fire back at him and say he sucks? You know, or like, well, he you suck, Jim. 
but they go to like the racism things and all whatever they can so it's very interesting in how both sides fight with each other uh very interesting but here's here's what cornette says said now the fucking uh security guards are all diving in after jimmy and now they're trying to help their friends well killer i think the one that dove in and just threw everybody away and grabbed jimmy and pulled him out <laughs> They, it never lasts long. And uh, so, <laughs> Brian Matthews, that's when Brian Matthews walks by. He says, what do you want me to do? I said, what do I want? I said, get that fucking nigger out of here. That's what I want you to do. Oh, when he saw him, when he heard nigger. Boy, now he's a double tank. I said, yes, that's right, God damn it. Because if I see something that makes somebody mad, and it's somebody that I want to make mad, I will work on that point. <laughs> but I wasn't even talking to him. I'm like, here's the show that's falling down around our ears. There's big fights going on. What the fuck? Matthew says something to me. I take you fucking nigger out of here. That's what I want you to do. Well, that goes for me. I said, fine. Fuck you, you. I guess you are a nigger. You see another one around here. Et cetera, et cetera. Fucking drag him off. Security guards tell him to go to his room. Boy, and that's when you... Usually when you get when you get dragged out of a wrestling match by the cops, you usually go to jail. And when, but when it's on a college campus, they tell you to go to your room. You get punished. <laughs> this, but but yet when we get the torch, it's page one. It's a race riot. It's fucking ambulances, people screaming. You know, <laughs> nobody. One guy got hit. Nobody got hurt. We used to have better shit than that happen twice or three times a night in a car that gets out. Big fuck shit like that happens at wrestling shows all the time. See, this is what the point is. Who knew? Who knew this shit was going to be made out of it? The point is, damn it, 500 years ago we fucked with some people and the rest of us should pay every penny that we have for the rest of our lives to make up for it. Race relations. I don't care whether you're black, brown, purple, green, pink polka dots or whatever. Anything can be wrong except you cannot be wrong if you have been discriminated against in the past or if you're by a family or ancestors or whatever. It's weird that he says that because he now has these crazy liberal views where everybody who's a Republican is a racist. But this is him saying this and he's a hardcore liberal Democrat. This is why I think that both Democrats and Republicans are full of shit. And I don't, I don't like anybody, I don't like either side, but, um, it shows you how full of shit he is. I don't know if he's actually, uh, I mean, I'm not shocked by anything anymore with people, you know, like I've said bad, I've said bad words too, but they've all been on the air, like on, in front of everybody on purpose. You know, I called a white guy the N word, <laughs> I mean, like it's, it's obvious, um, the type of comedy, but that's another private or some kind of conversation. I don't know why it's being recorded. I don't know what's going on there. We're still missing some context in that. I don't know what it means, but what do you guys think? Are you mad at Cornette for this? Is this a terrible thing? Is it not a surprise? Not a big deal. You still like him. Um, what do you think? Also, this other um, clip is coming out. Um, pretty sure I just watched my final episode of NWA Power, and he puts this clip up, and I'm not sure... But we're going to listen to it because I'm not sure what the controversy is here. Now, this is a separate controversy that somebody just posted about Jim Cornette uh, on Twitter. So uh, this is another thing that's going on. Let's listen to this. This seriously is he is he my shoot? Trevor Murdoch, he's mad, bad, and dangerous to know. He's the only man I've ever known that could strap a bucket of fried chicken on his back and ride a motor scooter across Ethiopia. Trevor Murdoch can take care of himself, and if Nick. All <laughs> oh man. On his back and ride a motor scooter across Ethiopia. Trevor ever known that could strap a bucket of fried chicken on his back and ride a motor scooter across Ethiopia. Trevor Murdoch can take care of himself. Um I I don't quite get it, I guess. I'm not I'm not smart enough to get what they're talking about. I mean, I heard the bucket of chicken. I get Ethiopia. Trevor Murdoch is white. Um, I guess I don't get it. Um, NWA is going authentic with their throwback wrestling program. They include casual racism too. 25% chance nobody watched. 25% chance someone left it in to make sure Corny burned for it. 50% chance they laughed and don't see the big deal. Um, 
I guess I, I, I don't understand. I get like fried chicken, but I don't understand like a white guy. Um, I'm, I'm just dumb. I don't get it. Cause I'm dumb. It's not, I don't understand the joke. I don't understand what's, I get that it's, there's something really bad about it. It sounds like, but I don't understand. It's above my head. I don't get it. Um, but people are really mad about it. Um, I'm trying to think of what's okay. So he's saying, okay, I get it. He's driving through Ethiopia, which is, this is about starvation because in Ethiopia, right? They have a food supply issue, right? So in Ethiopia, Ethiopia, in Africa, uh, people are starving. Okay. Joe dubs 35 on Twitter. Help me with it a bit. So people are starving in Africa. So he's dangerous because he's the only guy that could jump on a motor scooter and run through the t Ethiopia with chicken strapped to his back. Uh, well, first of all, I get the joke with food and starvation because like people be coming after you to get to you to get the food. But he put it, but he added, he made the food fried chicken. That was the, <laughs> I, I, I honestly think the, um, I think the the clip I played before that that people are mad about is way worse, right? Because that's like a I don't know yet the context, so I'm afraid to comment on it. Like, is he in private, not knowing he's being recorded on that previous clip? If that's the case, then that one is very bizarre. I'm less concerned about the Ethiopia joke because that's like a joke. He said it publicly, knowing everybody was going to hear it. So to me, that's a joke. He's not afraid publicly to tell you on the air, like. Hey man, he, he's a very dangerous man. He's he's the only he's the only guy I know dangerous enough to drive through Ethiopia on a bike with a bucket of fried chicken strapped to his back. Yeah, it's like that has layers to a joke. So that doesn't bother me. That's a stupid joke that's it's funny. You could change it to some something else. It's just it's always a joke. You know what I mean? Um you know, is the only like if you had a if you had a black guy in the ring, you know, you could probably make a joke about a white people neighborhood or something, and the guy strapped something in his back and ran through a white neighborhood or whatever. I don't know. But, um, so, like, that doesn't really bother me that much. It's more of the clip before, the one where he's talking about the N-bomb and, like, the other things. It's weird because he's such a left-wing guy who hates the right because they're all racists and all these things. And, anyway, this is why... Like, this is why I'm not, and I'm not, I'm not, that's why I'm not really going at him here because listen, people that live in glass houses throw some stones at something. I don't fucking know. I don't even know the saying. I hate that saying. But the bottom line is, you know, everybody's done these things that they could be called out for, but it's just funny when you see people, they, they eat their own. They eat their own. You know what I mean? When you virtue signal loudly about, you know, it's terrible. Those other people are terrible racists. Then they come after you and call you the racist. That's how, that's what it is. That's what happens when you go pointing fingers at people, calling everybody being oh so virtuous that you're better than everybody else. You're pointing at everybody else's problems and they're racist and they're terrible. Well, eventually they come for you. You know, to me, that's a, it's a joke. I think everything's funny. Um, I think uh, I hate everybody equally. That's how I am. I hate you all equally. I don't care who people are, what they are. We can all be made fun of, and I hate everybody equally. That's how I feel. And I think that that's how Cornette really feels. But the problem is he hides behind this virtue signal of like, oh, the, the Donald Trump is the racist and everything. It's like, well, maybe you, maybe, you know, people think you are. So like, um, Maybe we shouldn't just, we shouldn't call everybody racist who's not a racist. Maybe we should relax and go after the real racist. Does, does Cornette use racial humor in this joke? Of course. Um, he's, he's more trying to show you what, a, but he's more trying to show you what a badass this guy is, what Murdoch is, but that, but, but he chose to use a sort of a racial joke to put over how badass, um, Trevor Murdoch is, right? So whether you, people agree with that or not, whatever. 
I don't think that's a big deal. The other clip that, that could or could not be a private or public clip, I don't know. That one is the more troubling one, right? But anyway, I wanted to talk about this because I just my my inbox is blowing up with this right now. And if David Lagana ever listens to this, David Lagana, you might need a publicist, man. <laughs> you need a PR person over there. This is just crazy what happens to you guys on Twitter. And it's all because you guys because Cornette criticizes AEW. And we know how sick and weird the people are that criti that Cornette criticizes. They're so sick and weird that you know, they're but they're angry. They're like the dorks who are angry that you're making fun of them. So they show up in school with a gun and kill people. That's what's going on. Jim Cornette makes his opinion be known, uses harsh language to give his opinion on AEW people. AEW people strike back by taking your job away or by painting you as a racist or a murderer or something like that. Um, you know, I get it. So you got to expect that. But Cornette doesn't know his own people. I guess Cornette doesn't even know his own party and his own people. I could have told you that was going to happen. People do this to me. I don't care. Because I know who I am. I don't give a fuck. I will make fun of everybody and everyone for every reason at any time uh, because I because I am not biased and I hate everybody equally. But the minute you start pointing at everybody calling them racist is the minute that you're going to look like a hypocrite. That's why I don't do that. That's why I'm not saying Cornette is or isn't or anything. I'm saying that people are... This is all I've heard about the last two hours. What do you think? I'll leave it up to you guys in the comments. What do you guys think? Is Cornette just Cornette? Is he a hypocrite? I mean, I think he's definitely a hypocrite. I would say he's absolutely a hypocrite. But do you disagree with Cornette? Do you not watch NWA because of Cornette? Do you give a shit? Do you not care? Do you not like Cornette, but this doesn't bother you? Do you think Cornette is a horrible person and he should be fired? Um, what is your opinion about Jim Cornette? After hearing this, and I would hope a non-biased commentary by me, um, Jim Cornette has been a dickhead to me. Jim Cornette hates me. He's gone after me on Twitter, on his podcast. He's blocked me. He's said some false things about me. But everything he said about me that that he was his opinion, I don't care. Because... He has the right to say it, and it's fucking funny, to be honest. He made fun of my hat, said I lived in my mother's basement or whatever, said, uh, you know, I have a cool way of talking in the microphone, which I do. Um, Jim Cornette does not like me, but I am not going to uh, actually attack him and jump on this attack uh, wagon right now. You know, it's different than the whole Hogan situation to me, but maybe not. That, that It all depends on the real context of that first tape. Was that a recording, a private recording? I don't know. He doesn't say in the tweet. He gives almost all the context in a way, but he doesn't leave the full context. Anyway, I have Throwdown coming up later tonight. I'm sure we'll continue to talk about this on my other channel. My name is Joe Cronin. What do you think about Jim Cornette? David Lagana, hit me up. Joe Cronin Show at Yahoo.com. I'll be your PR guy, and I'd love to have uh, him on to talk a little bit about NWA power and the controversies that surround Cornette right now. Uh, Joe, if you're listening, you stupid fuck. He looks like a one of those guys that from Long Island that wants to be a white rapper, but he's 30-something years old, lives in his parents' basement with the droopy cap and the whatever, but he thinks he's Howard Stern, and he's got a cool way of talking in the microphone. Uh, and he's a shock jock or whatever, and somehow or another he accumulates followers on, the, on Twitter. It's fucking pathetic. You would think after comments like that that I would hate him and I'd want him brought down, but uh, not the case. What do you think? Here's some other videos you might have missed. <laughs> 